Average Guy here. We wanted to talk about using the RevoPoint Miracle Pro 3D Scanner uh, for scanning dark or black objects. And there are a few things that we like about this scanner. You can see that there are no cables. You can use Wi-Fi. It's pretty good resolution. It has a near and a far, which has higher or lower resolution, depending on which one you select. Overall, we love this product. It's got a large screen on it. It makes it really easy for us to do our scans. And let's jump right into scanning something that is uh, dark or black material. Since we have a Telaria Sting R MX4 laying around, we've got a couple of these and we wanted to make some parts on the rear that would bolt to the rear of this. And you can see there's pretty complicated geometry, especially in the rear where the suspension is, uh, the swing arm, the spring. And so we wanted to get a scan of that area for some of the different products that we're designing for that area. And so we used this device and we found on initial scanning, it was very difficult for it to pick it up. So there's some different options out there. We've got this AE Sub uh, 3D scan spray. It just essentially puts a powder on the surface. You can see we've got 400 milliliters. As nerds, we went ahead and converted that into fluid ounces because we ended up using dry shampoo. Uh, we ended up using dry shampoo instead because of availability. Uh, my wife would definitely kill me if she saw this picture that I just included of her drawer. But as nerds, we went ahead and stepped a little bit further and decided to show it to you in a spreadsheet. Dry shampoo is a little bit cheaper per ounce, $2.36 per ounce versus $2.66 for the 3D can spray. And you can see we did normalize that so it is per ounce. Okay, so let's dive into our actual scanning. So we've got the Tellaria here. We went ahead and sprayed on the dry shampoo. You can see it left this nice white powder, which really just brushes right off. Um, or you can spray it off after you're done. It really just dusts right off. It's really handy. So you can see we sprayed the suspension area first. Again, we really like using the RevoPoint uh, 3D scanner. It's very handy. I like that it's all in one. You can see here, this is the first cut of that complicated geometry. We're pretty happy with how it turned out. And so we went ahead and used this dry shampoo. Man, it smelled flirty floral in the whole shop. It was beautiful. Um, so we went ahead and sprayed the rest of the bike to get a full scan to see if we could get uh, several models put together. This is our first time using this device and we we're pretty surprised at how smooth it went and how good the final model turned out. So we are pretty pleased with the RevoPoint uh, 3D scan tool. We would recommend uh, this over the others. We did select another one and we tried it out and we did not like it quite as good because it wasn't all in one package. One additional note that I might add here is that it was very important for us to try to keep the scan tool uh, perpendicular to the surface that we were scanning. That seemed to be pretty important. And also we had to be very steady with our hands and we did have to move fairly slow in order to get the scan to turn out good. 